Hey friend, Ryan May here, an audio engineer, and more specifically, an audiobook engineer in the Apple or Mac world. So when recording audiobooks, narrators need to learn not just the acting and the performance side of audiobooks, but they also need to learn all of the technical side of things as well. In audio recording, there are tons of different audio software platforms to choose from. But did you ever think of using Apple's free audio software rather than spending hundreds of dollars or needing a third-party program to perform all of your audio tasks like recording, editing, and mastering? Well, in this video series, I'm going to walk you through five days of audiobook narration in GarageBand from how to set up your tracks. Yes, I said tracks. But Ryan, narration is a single voice process. Yes, but there's a little spin to punching in and punching out within GarageBand. But I'm also going to show you how to do the basics of editing while you're performing a punch and roll style of narration. And all the way to exporting and sending off your finished raw files to a publisher. Now, of course, there is more to audiobooks than just recording and sending them off to an author or a publisher. You need to process them into a finalized version for the world to listen to. Now, if you're new to mastering audiobooks as well, I want to help you out with that and get you started with EQing your voice to maximize the clarity and presence in your narration. I want to give you my free narration EQ guide. Just head to thehomeaudioproject.com slash EQ. It's all for free. Just head to the link here on the screen and I'll also have it linked down below as well. In our first video, we covered building our file management system, setting up our tracks and our pre-roll for listening. So today we're going to talk about the next step and that is setting up a GarageBand template. By default, GarageBand's file path for templates can be a chore if you have to navigate every time you want to record an audiobook. And if you're recording a lot of books in a year, it can become a hassle over time. In this quick and easy video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to have your audiobook recording template readily available to you anytime you need it. You ready to dive in? I'm Ryan May and this is five days in GarageBand narration. Now, GarageBand does not allow you to save a template into a template folder, but there is a workaround that you can perform that will save the GarageBand template that you created for this specific book as a regular audiobook template. What we can do is simply double click on this folder that we created for Run Away From Reality, click on our recording session. On your keyboard, hold down Option and click the session and drag it to your desktop and let go of Option. So as you can see, I still have this Runaway From Reality recording session in my Runaway From Reality main project folder, but now I have a copy of the session template or the audiobook template right here. And now what we can do is just hit return or enter on your keyboard to then rename it. And I'm going to call this audiobook rec session and then just hit return or enter on your keyboard. And I'll just save this on my desktop. What this will allow you to do is anytime you need to make an audiobook session in GarageBand, once again, depending on the book's name, you can right click and create a new folder, call that folder your book title, whatever the book title's name is, and then you can grab your GarageBand audiobook recording template, click it so it's highlighted, hold down Option, and then drag that, and you'll see a plus button on my mouse cursor. 
that means that it's creating a copy, drag that into your new books folder. And then because this is your new book, for this example, we'll just call this the same thing. So book title, rec session, and enter. So now I have my template that I'm always going to keep here on my desktop. I've got my runaway from reality book that has the session in it. And now in my new book, I have a new recording session. And once again, same thing. I'm going to double click on this. And because I created this session already and now I'm just, I made a copy of it, all of the settings are already set for us. So all our plugins are off. My interface is selected. My count in is on. And as you can see here, it's set to the two bars. I have my tracks already created and properly named. And now I have a full blown template. So by keeping a copy of the original audiobook recording session on your desktop, anytime you have a new book, you can simply create a folder, hold down option, and drag. And now there's a second copy right here. So anytime you hold down option and click and drag, you're creating a new audiobook GarageBand recording session. Hey, thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful and don't forget I want you to pick up my free narration EQ guide. It'll help guide you into the right path using EQ on your voice for the books that you narrate. Just go to thehomeaudioproject.com slash EQ and download it today. That's it for today's video. I hope to see you tomorrow as we dive deeper into GarageBand narration.